Here are two very good news about the fourth Spider-Man movie starring Tom Holland, but the second good news that I'm going to discuss in this video could turn out to be a very critical or perhaps a bad news in the overall context of the fourth Spider-Man movie starring Tom Holland. By the way, I have made two similar videos of, you know, every information about the fourth Spider-Man movie, fourth Tom Holland Spider-Man movie in these two videos. So please check those videos out. But anyways, the fourth Spider-Man movie is about to start filming. It's about to start shooting in the month of September this year. And the director was unknown at this point in time and only speculations were made about the director. But now the latest speculation is about Sam Raimi. And if you're not familiar with Sam Raimi, let me tell you, the first OG3 Spider-Man movie starring Tobey Maguire were all made by Sam Raimi himself. And Sam Raimi has also made one movie in this MCU in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and that movie was Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And he was also a story consultant in the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. And if this news is true about him directing the fourth Spider-Man movie starring Tom Holland, I'm telling you, it's going to be a crazy, crazy movie because it will have the Sam Raimi style of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man movies but it will be Tom Holland's Spider-Man movie and the cherry on the top is that this movie will have a very grounded story, a very street level story and Sam Raimi will have a ball directing this movie. Now let's come to the second news. The second news is Sidney Sweeney is probably been cast in the MCU to play the role of Black Cat in this fourth Spider-Man movie starring Tom Holland. I mean these are quite strong rumors circling on the internet and people are just going nuts about this news. And according to the same rumors, Black Cat slash Felicia Hardy will play the initial or the main love interest of Tom Holland's Peter Parker. But at the same time, MJ will start to remember things about her past with Spider-Man and with Tom Holland's Spider-Man and with Peter Parker. And eventually it will become a love triangle among the three of them. And we also heard that Black Cat along with her father has a history with Kingpin and therefore she is actually seeking revenge with Kingpin. But now let's talk about if this scoop is really true. That's Sydney Sweeney will play the role of Black Cat, then a very simple question arises, what will happen to her Spider-Woman character in the Madam Web movie, which is apparently part of this MCU, but not really a part of the MCU and they are somehow going to connect it in the future. But I don't think it will happen now because and if you have seen this channel previously as well, I was a big supporter of the Sony Spider-Man universe. I still have a bit of hopes, but they are just fading away and they have still two Spider-Man related movies to come out this year. The Sony Spider-Man universe I'm talking about. The third Venom movie which will be the last Venom movie in which Tom Hardy will play the role of Venom and Craven the Hunter movie is also set to release this year. But now after the poor reception of Madam Web, fans don't really think the Sony Spider-Man universe will actually go on to become something substantial and will connect to the MCU in a major way because the initial plans were actually being set up as the two worlds of these two universes, the Sony Spider-Man universe and the MCU will actually connect with each other, will actually mix with each other. But now that idea may fall away. And again, if this news of Sidney Sweeney being cast as Black Cat is really true, Kevin Feige is the man, dude. Kevin Feige knows everything. Kevin Feige moves his every move very calculatedly. So if he has cast Sidney Sweeney in here, now that really means Sidney Sweeney's character in the Madam Web movie doesn't hold any significance now. I mean, maybe that whole universe will just go away, maybe, maybe. Okay, now let's finally talk about my opinions on it and how I think this could be a problem, you know, in the larger context of the Spider-Man 4 movie. I mean, the inclusion of Black Cat as a character, I'm not talking about Sidney Sweeney, but just Black Cat as a character, because everything that we have heard until now about the fourth Spider-Man movie, a lot of things are happening in it. I mean, there are a lot of moving parts. And if you remember, the third Spider-Man movie of Tobey Maguire, that movie was not pretty well received by even the fans or the critics. And the main reason and the common reason actually that they had about this movie not being very good was that it had too many parts, meaning it had just too many villains, had just too many storylines going around in that movie. And probably similar thing is happening in this Spider-Man movie too with Tom Holland. I mean, first we had it's going to be a ground level story, a street level story, kudos to that. Then we heard Kingpin will be involved again good move then we heard it's going to set up after the events of Daredevil born again and it will deal with the anti-vigilante task folks again good because it all ties up into the street level storyline then we heard MJ is going to be there obviously she's going to be there then we heard a couple of more villains will be in this movie as well and obviously that goes without saying that they will be controlled by the mastermind kingpin and it's again falling into the same story but then we heard about the inclusion of Venom in it. And now because of Venom, the story kind of moves away from the very grounded storytelling. And then if we have Black Cat storyline as well, then it moves further from the ground level story that we were aiming for at the start. 
I mean, I don't know if this is really too much or, you know, they'll have a great idea behind it. And again, I'm not doubting Kevin Feige. If Kevin Feige has decided to do that, then he definitely has some bigger plans about it and I'm no one to question. But yeah, I just felt that, so I just thought about sharing it. But anyways, you can check out this playlist in which I have discussed every detail about the fourth Spider-Man movie starring Tom Holland. So you can check out that playlist and you can check out some other videos on my channel too. And as always, thank you so much for watching.